is now taking a look at the forecast for the Grand Strand and surrounding area, issued at 7.40 p.m. Overnight, partly cloudy with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms this evening, then mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-70s. South winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 50%. Monday, showers and thunderstorms likely. Locally heavy rainfall possible. Highs in the upper 80s. Southwest winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 60%. Monday night, mostly cloudy with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the upper 70s. South winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 50%. Tuesday, partly cloudy with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Highs around 90. South winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. Tuesday night, partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Humid with lows in the upper 70s. Southwest winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Wednesday and Wednesday night, partly cloudy. Highs in the lower 90s. Lows in the upper 70s. Thursday, partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night and Friday, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 70s. Highs around 90. Chance of rain 40%. Friday night and Saturday, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 70s. Highs in the upper 80s. Chance of rain 50%. Saturday night, mostly cloudy. Lows in the mid-70s. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the mid-80s. The coastal waters forecast for the following. Coastal waters from Little River Inlet to Merles Inlet, South Carolina, 20 nautical miles. Issued at 7.41 p.m. Overnight, southwest winds 10 to 15 knots. Sea 3 to 5 feet. A chance of showers and thunderstorms. Monday, southwest winds 10 to 15 knots. See 3 to 5 feet, subsiding to 3 to 4 feet in the afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms likely. Monday night, south winds 15 knots with gusts up to 20 knots. See 3 to 5 feet. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Tuesday, south winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts up to 20 knots. See 3 to 5 feet. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Tuesday night, southwest winds 15 knots, becoming west after midnight. See 3 to 5 feet. A chance of showers and thunderstorms. Wednesday, west winds 10 to 15 knots, becoming southwest in the afternoon. Seas 2 to 4 feet. Wednesday night, southwest winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts up to 20 knots. Seas 3 feet. Thursday, southwest winds 15 to 20 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet. A chance of showers and thunderstorms. Friday, southwest winds 10 to 15 knots, increasing to 15 to 20 knots. Seas 2 to 4 feet. Building to 3 to 5 feet. A chance of showers and thunderstorms. Winds and seas higher in and near thunderstorms. The offshore waters forecast for the following. Cape Fear to 31 north from 20 nautical miles to 1,000 fathoms. Issued at 4.36 p.m. Tonight, south to southwest winds 15 to 25 knots. Seas 3 to 6 feet. Highest winds and seas southeast. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Monday, south winds 15 to 25 knots. Seas 4 to 7 feet. Highest winds and seas southwest. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Monday night, south winds 20 to 30 knots. Seas 4 to 8 feet. Highest winds and seas southwest. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Tuesday, south to southwest winds 20 to 30 knots. Seas 5 to 9 feet. Highest winds and seas southwest. Tuesday night, south to southwest winds 15 to 25 knots. Seas 4 to 8 feet, becoming highest north. Wednesday, west to southwest winds 10 to 20 knots. Seas 4 to 7 feet. Wednesday night, southwest winds 10 to 20 knots. Seas subsiding to 3 to 5 feet. Thursday, southwest winds 10 to 15 knots, becoming 10 to 20 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet. Thursday night, southwest winds 15 to 20 knots. Seas building to 4 to 7 feet. Friday, west to southwest winds 15 to 25 knots. Seas 4 to 8 feet, highest northeast. Friday night, west to southwest winds 15 to 25 knots. Seas 5 to 8 feet. Tomorrow's surf forecast for the beaches of Ward County. There is a low risk of rip currents for the beaches. Remember that rip currents are always possible, especially around low tide and near jetties and piers. The surf will be around 2 feet, with southwest winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. 
The ultraviolet index of noon indicates a high risk of harm from unprotected sun exposure. The lightning risk is high. This implies that thunderstorms are likely or expected. The water spout risk is low. Atmospheric conditions do not support the formation of water spouts. Also, along the beaches there will be a weak south to north longshore current. The tropical weather outlook for the North Atlantic, Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico. A weak area of low pressure located along the coast of the Florida Big Bend is producing disorganized shower and thunderstorm activity across portions of northern Florida and the extreme northeastern Gulf of Mexico. Upper level winds are not expected to be conducive for development, while the low moves northeastward at 5 to 10 miles per hour across north Florida and near the southeastern United States coast during the next few days. Regardless of development, this system is expected to produce heavy rainfall across portions of northern Florida tonight and Monday. For additional information on rainfall associated with this system, refer to products from your local National Weather Service forecast office. Formation chance through 48 hours, low, 10%. Formation chance through 5 days, low, 10%. The next four tides at Myrtle Beach will be a low tide at 3.47 p.m., a high tide at 9.55 p.m., a low tide at 4.17 a.m. on Monday, and high tide at 10.19 a.m. on Monday. The next four tides at Winyu Bay Entrance South Jetty will be a low tide at 3.51 p.m., a high tide at 10.14 p.m., a low tide at 4.27 a.m. on Monday, and high tide at 10.35 a.m. on Monday. The beach water temperature at Spring Maid Pier is 87. Here are the 8 p.m. observations. In Myrtle Beach, it was mostly cloudy. The temperature was 82 degrees. The dew point was 72, giving a relative humidity of 69%. The wind was south at 9 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.94 inches and steady. In North Myrtle Beach, it was mostly cloudy. The temperature was 81 degrees. The dew point was 74, giving a relative humidity of 79%. The wind was south at 7 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.93 inches and steady. Here are the weather conditions around the Carolinas. It was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 81 at Florence, 81 at Wilmington, and 81 at Whiteville. It was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 80 at Charleston, and 84 at Columbia. It was fair, with a temperature of 81 at Conway, and 79 at Georgetown. The latest marine observations within the last two hours, as of 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At Frying Pan Shoals Buoy, the wind was south at 16 knots. Water temperature was 83 degrees. Wave height 4 feet. Wave period 6 seconds. Swell high 2 feet. Swell period at 11 seconds. At Sunset Beach near Shore Buoy, the wind was south at 12 knots. At Spring Maid Pier, the wind was southeast at 9 knots. At Adisto Buoy, the wind was south at 23 knots. Water temperature was 83 degrees. Wave height 3 feet. Wave period 5 seconds. Swell high 2 feet. Swell period at 11 seconds. Low pressure will move northeastward across the Florida Panhandle tonight and along an old stationary front on Monday and Tuesday, bringing increasing chances of showers and thunderstorms to the coastal Carolinas. The low will move away from the area Tuesday night, with typical summer weather expected Wednesday through next weekend. And now taking a look at the forecast.